Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a Sun Life advisor. I love making YouTube videos and also love storytelling. And one of the recurring theme dito sa channel ko is personal finance. So naisip ko lang na why I don't make a segment na special for personal finance which is called Money Talks. So para lang ilalagay ko yun sa thumbnail ko and aware ka na yung video na papanoorin mo would be about personal finance. So I guess with that being said, let's begin! What I want to talk about in this video are basic terms in personal finance na feeling ko narinig mo na pero hindi ka lang aware ko na talaga yung meaning nun. So today, I want to talk about savings account, time deposits, T-bills, bonds, and equities. So if you want to learn more about it, siguro just stay tuned, uh, tapos mo yung video ko. And hopefully, you'll learn something about it. I'm just going to read you explanation in Vestopedia about dun sa mga definitions na yun. Then later, I'll share to you my own definition about it. So first, let's begin with savings account. A savings account is an interest-bearing deposit account held at a bank or other financial institution. Okay, so for me, savings account is an account where you put your money for safekeeping para hindi siya mawala or manakaw. Isa pang gusto ko sa savings account is it keeps your money organized. Kasi titignan mo lang yung passbook mo or yung online account mo, malalaman mo na agad kung magkano yung laman na account mo. Isa pang gamit ito is this is where you put yung money na gagamitin mo in the near future agad. Kasi savings account, madaling i-liquidate yung ano, asset mo doon. So madaling mo siyang mailabas, ibig sabihin lang noon. Pero uh, kahit na it bears uh, interest na maliit na maliit lang, it's not considered an investment account. Next naman na gusto kong pag-usapan is time deposit. So, let me just read its definition. A time deposit is an interest-bearing bank deposit account that has specified date of maturity, such as certificate of deposit. So, ito for me, this is a type of account na ilalagay mo yung pera mo for a specific time frame na para lang it bears a slightly better rate than a savings account. So, para lang aware kayo kung magkano or ilan yung interest rate, let me just put yung... Uh, charge later ng BDO. So, uh, gamitin ko reference yung sa BDO para magkaroon kayo ng idea kung magkano or ilan yung interest rate ng uh, time deposit. Pero ako, personally, I'm not a fan of it kasi maso dahil pang investment accounts that would be way, way better than this. Moving on, let's talk about T-bills or treasury bills. So, again, let me just read yung making definition nito. Treasury bills or T-bills are short-term secure investments issued by the Philippine government through the Bureau of Treasury. So almost the same lang siya as time deposit. Pero it's way better kasi uh, mas maganda yung interest rate na binibigay niya. So again, let me just share to you yung mga charts, data uh, na parang to give it an idea kung uh, gano'n katagal yung paglalagay mo dito and uh, how much interest rate will yung investment mo earn. Now, let's talk about bonds. Bonds or fixed income investments are essentially loans from an investor to a company or government. Basically, bond investments allows you to lend your money to the government or private corp para gamitin nila. Then, in exchange, bibigyan nila na interest yung capital na pinahira mo sa kanila. So, if it's a bond for the government, ang tawag sa kanila is RTB or Retail Treasury Bonds. So, dito, ang definition is Retail treasury bonds or RTBs are medium to long-term investments issued by the Philippine government. They form part of the government's program to make securities available to small investors. It's considered a fixed income security which means that you earn a fixed interest rate based on the principal market given on a quarterly basis. Based on the site ng security bank, it's at 6.25%. So para sa akin, okay na yun. It's a good deal for me. Now let's move on sa private bonds. So corporate bonds are debt securities issued by corporations and bought by investors. They usually have higher interest rates than government bonds and are backed by the payment ability of the company. Uh, ito naman din sa private bond that my family was able to personally invest in. This was just issued this year. So I guess I have to wait and see kung okay ba talaga to. Uh, I'll share it to you pagka uh, may progress na. Now, let's move on to the equity investment. An equity investment is money that is invested in a company by purchasing shares 
of that company in the stock market. These shares are typically traded on stock exchange. There are different types of equity investment uh, in the Philippines, but I guess the most common are mutual funds, UITF, and stocks. So uh, what you want here is uh, you'll buy a specific share of something, so pwedeng mutual fund, UITF, or stocks. And pagka binili mo yun, uh, you're hoping in the near future na it will gain its value and mabibenta mo siya at a higher price. So for equity investments, yung aim nila is to at least grow your portfolio ng 10% per annum. Yung volatility with this kind of investment compared dun sa mga una ko sinabi, yung mga RTVs and bonds. Uh, this one is yung mas risky, mas volatile. Kasi uh, pwedeng mag-change yung stock price or yung pressure nito during market hours. Well, that's just it for this episode ng Money Talks. I hope you like it. Uh, yung aim ko lang naman dito is to make you curious para um, maisip mo or magkaroon ka ng idea about dun sa mga different types of investments sa personal finance. Hindi ko talaga siya ginagawang in-depth discussion kasi para sa akin, uh, it would benefit you more pagka ikaw mismo yung nag-aral sa sarili mo kasi when it comes to this world, sa investing world, there is solely uh, as into you. So, ayun. Uh, if you like this video, kindly hit the like button. Uh, if you want to have a conversation with me, comment ka lang down below. And if my suggestion ka for things that you want me to talk about, uh, comment ka din. This is it. Peace. I'm out.